Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. I'm also your hook host. And that's what's right here is a hook. <laughs> We're talking about hooks today. We're hooking it up. All right, now, you may have seen this hook. This hook might look familiar to you. You may have. You haven't seen it on my channel, but you may have seen it. Because my sweet friend Kayla over at Llama Mama Kayla ordered one of these for herself. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to say... I'm not usually someone to order these type of hooks. <clears throat> Don't know why. They're beautiful. But like to me, they look uncomfortable in your hand, right? So this is the company. Susie J's. Amber Boy Bolt Amber Bowling in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Alright. She is SusieJays.etsy.com. I will link her below. Don't worry, you ain't gotta find nothing. I will link her below. I will try to find her Instagram too. Oh, I'm gonna have to blur that part out. Don't use that coupon code if you saw it. That's just not right because she, that's okay. So she sent me a personal mole note. Thanks so much for your order. Enjoy. Amber, I'm gonna blur that part out of the video. Um, yeah, don't, don't do that. So, anyway, <laughs> you'll put that right there. All right, so. That cute little stitch marker is a strawberry donut. A straw, a strawberry donut. Look at this. We'll get you real close. It's a donut with a little cream filled coming in, and that is like a fresh strawberry on the top. Like the detail in this is amazing. I I can't even get it to focus well enough. But like, rest assured. Let me see if I do that. If that that helped. I think. My eyesight is terrible, so I can't tell. It looks like there's actual strawberry on top of this donut. Okay? Donuts aside. <laughs> Craziness aside. Susie J's. Check them out. I will link her below. The lady was totally sweet. Now, Llama Mama Kayla ordered one of these. Little backstory. Llama Mama Kayla has just a thumb on her hand, so she holds her crochet hook like this. So, I'm always interested to watch her crochet because it is fascinating to me to watch her. I just am obsessed with her. <laughs> Love Kayla, okay? Um, so she, this is her hand. She can only hold it with just her thumb because she has no fingers. So she orders these big hooks and it helps her crochet, which is fantastic. But for me, I'm like, okay, that looks kind of big and bulky and cumbersome. And um, I'm very, very picky with my hooks. And so when I saw this, I kind of fell in love. And the reason I fell in love is because it's macarons. Okay, if you don't know what a macaron is, it's a cookie. But it's a cookie that is made from almond paste, i.e. it's gluten-free. It is the only naturally made gluten-free cookie that exists on the planet. Now, of course, you can make gluten-free cookies. You can. They don't taste the same. But macarons, not to be confused with macaroons, macaroons, it's not, it's not coconut, okay? These are almond paste. They they make the two cookies that are very lightweight, lightweight, a little bit of crisp on the outside. They dissolve in your mouth, and in the center is like jams and jellies and like all the good things, right? So, when I discovered that I was allergic to gluten, i.e., I got glutened accidentally this weekend. <laughs> so I'm I'm really feeling this hook more than ever. Um. When I saw Llama Mama Kayla show this, and it was macarons. Macarons are little French cookies, by the way. Um, if you have ever seen these in the store and you've never tried them, I highly suggest you try them unless you are a diabetic, then stay away from them because there's a lot of sugar in the fillings. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, I saw it and I was like, okay, it's rainbow macarons. I have to have this hook. I don't care if I can use it. I have to have it, right? So I popped over to her website, and her hooks range in price depending on if it comes with one stitch marker or two stitch markers. This hook was $20.94, I think. Um, I did pay shipping. I don't remember what my exact total was, but it was not a lot. It was, I think, maybe $26 total or something like that. It, it might have been $28. I don't care. <laughs> um, I got it last night and I opened it up. She shipped out pretty fast. These are handmade. So this is clay. She molds and shapes and designs all these things. Even her little stitch marker. Like she makes these things. 
and they're just so beautiful and detailed and they're just actually I don't know what that that's not the cream the cream's on the other side but it doesn't matter they're not supposed to be perfect I don't know if that's cream or if she accidentally got paint on it but it doesn't matter it's cute and I don't care so let's look at the detail of these cute little hooks okay when I post a picture of this in my Facebook group, a lot of people were like, Ooh, where do I get those cool things on those handles? Okay, this is a handmade hook. It is permanently affixed to the handle. The, the crochet hook, don't come out, is in there. Okay, this is clay. It's created. I don't know if she bakes it on here. I don't know how to make this. I'm not a clay enthusiast. As a matter of fact, I hate Play-Doh. I just don't deal with any of the things that are like that. <laughs> so this is magic to me that she made this so creatively so I, like I said I learned about this hook from crochet from Llama Mama Kayla I will of course link her below too because she's a dear friend of mine and I absolutely adore her and so I was like okay well I got it last night I instantly had to try it out so I wanted to show you guys you guys know I use a lot of either and I get a lot of questions on my hooks I use either this style which is either a furls hook or an Omi hook or this style, which is an Omi hook. These are furls. Are, I'm an affiliate. I have links for furls if you want want to purchase one. I also have a, uh, Amazon affiliate links for the Omi if you want to purchase those. Just let me know. I will link them. But what we're really here to talk about is this. My concern with this hook is that it's a little bit heavy. Um, it's not super heavy though. It's a little bit heavy. But compare it. Yeah, it's definitely heavier than those. But it's clay. I mean, it's not supposed to be lightweight. This might be comparable kind of to the, the Furls Odyssey. That weight. The metal hooks from Furls. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to crochet with this. Because it's big. You know. It's cute. So last night I was like, I'm going to try it out. So I went to crochet. And first of all, I contacted, what did I say her name was? Amber. I contacted Amber and I was like, okay, Amber. Um, she had both the Susan Bates style head and the boy head which I'm not a big fan of boy which I used to all be all about boy but now I'm kind of like I'm all about Susan Bates or the heads that are on furls and the Omi hooks are actually um, a little bit of furls and Susan Bates mixed together which is my favorite but like I prefer Susan Bates over boy and I was like hey can um can we make sure it's a Susan Bates head? That's what I prefer. And she's all, yeah, as a matter of fact, that's the one I prefer too. So that's not a problem. She's super nice, okay? And I was like, I learned about you from Llama Mama Kayla on YouTube. And she's all, oh, that's so nice. I'll have to thank her. Like, she was really nice, right? No issues whatsoever. Now, we're not judging the head because, I mean, we've all used these, these aluminum hooks. Or these steel hooks or whatever. I think this one's aluminum. It's a six millimeter. She has different sizes and different heads and like, you know, she has a cute, um, it, it's like the frozen colors. It goes from white to like a turquoise bluey color to the bottom macarons. She also has cake slices and donuts and the cinnamon roll one is so cute. I almost bought it, but can't eat gluten. So I didn't get the cinnamon roll one cause I'm sure they weren't gluten free. And I know that makes no sense to anybody else but me, but. So, I was crocheting, I was like, okay, well, how, how much is this going to, is this going to hurt my hand? Is it going to give me problems? Um, because we're not worried about the head. We know what a Susan Bates head feels like. We know what boy heads feel like. What my concern was is how is it going to feel in my hand because it's a weird shape. It's big, it's. I tell you it's comfortable and I told Mr. Cinnamon last night I was surprised by how comfortable it is because just like Kayla where she just really is holding it this way because of the bulk you don't really have to hold it and anybody that has like now if you have the type of arthritis where you can't hold heavy things you're probably not gonna be able to use this hook but if you have like I have arthritis and I can hold heavy things I just can't grip I have no grip strength at all I can't open jars I can't open anything that were that involves strength in your hands but I can hold something that's heavy because I'm literally not holding it it's just sitting in my hand and so that's why I wanted to come on and show you guys this hook because it's super cute and she's got other cute designs 
I don't know how the cake slices one would be, even though it's super cute. I don't know how that would feel in my hand, so I can't. I can only judge on the macaron <laughs> or the other rounded ones. But I like the way this feels in my hand. It's a good length. Now, if you take like I'm used to long hooks. I like the long hooks a lot, and this is shorter than the furls hook, and it's definitely shorter than the Omi hook. Um. But it's long enough that it's not like knocking into my hand down there. Cause you know, there are some hooks that are just real little. <laughs> I hate little tiny hooks like this. And this ain't little tiny like that. Like it's long enough that it just sits in my hand and it's comfortable. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today and do like a little a little swatchy poo while we're sh while we're talking so that I can show you the hook and so that I didn't have to like make myself look presentable either real talk <laughs> and I want to show you my hook and show you what it's like worked up and how easy it is to hold one of these these fancy pantsy hooks and to recommend to you Susie J's if you're in the market for something like this she's super cute um, just if you if you guys flock over to her because I know sometimes you guys get excited when I show you stuff be patient with her and understand that these are all handmade and she's probably making them to order and that takes time my hook i ordered the night actually i ordered it while llama mama kayla's video was on so um i i don't even know when she posted that video let me see how long ago i ordered that just so i can give you guys an idea of how long it took to get here but if like everybody runs to her shop obviously it's going to take her longer so just be patient with people be patient. I get a lot of complaints from people. They take too long. They're shipping too long. Well, they're humans and they're trying, so calm down. Don't be in that big of a hurry. That's not the right button. Orders. Nope, that's not my orders. I, Etsy app confuses the heck out of me. I hate it. I can never figure out where in the heck I'm supposed to go because it takes me to the part where I'm selling, not buying. Etsy.com. I don't want my orders. Dashboard. See, this is... I hate Etsy. <laughs> I'm really irritated by Etsy. My, let's go over there and see. Let's see what happens. Nope, it's still taking me to the dang shop manager. Anyway, it didn't take that long to get here. Does anybody else have problems with Etsy? Like, it keeps taking me back to the part where I sell. And I don't even sell that much on Etsy. It's like an occasional, I'll sell a bunch of stuff. And then I'll go months and not sell anything. It just is so frustrating to me. I can never get to where I want to be on that dang site. Like, I wanted to do a review for her, um, this order last night, and it wouldn't let me because I just received it. Okay, well, I know that I like it, so can we let me put five stars? Come on. <laughs> Dang it, see. So anyway, I really like this hook. I think it's a cool hook. A little bit heavy, but not, not so much so that it's giving me problems. And as you see, crochet, crochet's up just fine. Somebody, I posted a picture. I was working on a washcloth last night, right? So I was, I was actually using a different hook. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to set that there and take a picture because it looks pretty, right? And people were like, oh, like, that's so cute. Your hook matches your yarn. And I was like, yeah, it does. It's so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was adorable. So... I had to hurry up and show you guys, give you guys the heads up on that, because I think it's so cute, and I really like that it's a gluten-free item because, you know, allergies. Gluten makes me want to rip my insides out. <laughs> Alright guys, check out Susie J's, and um, yeah, at least favorite her shop if you like it for to come back later, because it, it's such a cute hook, and I really like it, so... And I have good, I had good experience with her. So with all that, I will see you guys tomorrow for P.O. Bye guys.